Hi, and welcome to Introduction to Verilog Hardware Descriptive Language. In this video, we'll be covering structural modeling. Structural modeling is a way for us to represent digital logic and model it by using gate primitives and connecting together with wires. The advantages of using this type of modeling is that it allows us to directly affect the digital logic at the lowest level. The disadvantage is it's very hard to understand the Verilog code as well as it's easy to miss or debug issues as we encounter them. It's also very cumbersome as we look at more complex designs and we add more logic gates to our design. Some of the gate primitives in Verilog are AND, NAND, OR, NOR, XOR, and XNOR. Transmission gate primitives can be NOT and BUFF. There's many other ones, but in this videos and future videos, we'll mainly focus on these logic gates and transmission gates. Gate primitives usually start by the type of gate we want to use, followed by the instance name, which has to be unique to each individual instance, then by an output, and then subsequently any, as many inputs as we desire for that gate. So as we look at the example below, we have an AND gate with instance name U1, we have our output, and then we have two inputs, N1 and N2. So this is a two input AND gate. The same if we want a four input AND gate, we have N1, N2, and N3, N4, all going to an output AND. Now, as you notice, there's two AND gates, but the instance names are unique to each other. Same thing as the OR gate, we have gate test for an instance name. Now, transmission gates, though, they need to have only one input and then one output, as you can see here in the NOT transmission gate. Here's an example of structural modeling. From here, we have two inputs, N1 and N2, and two outputs, OUT1 and OUT2. Here we have two internal wires, internal wire one and internal wire two. How these are connected together is we have an AND gate where we have an instance name U1. We're driving to the output OUT1 and we've connected the wire, the, the inputs N1 and N2 to this AND gate. Same thing for the NOT transmission gates. We have two instances of NOT transmission gates, each instance called U01 and U02. We've connected the input N1 to the internal wire, internal wire one, and then connected the internal N2 to the internal wire two through the output of the internal wire on the NOT and the input in N2. And from there, we've connected the internal wires to the inputs of the OR gate. So we have internal wire one and internal wire two to the input ports of the OR, and then output two is being driven by the output of the OR gate. You can see a, a diagram of this modeling shown here on the right hand side. So you can see we have our two inputs in one and in two and they're driving to our AND gate which is then in turn the output driving to out one. Same thing as it see it's driving to our instance U not one and U not two connected to the internal the outputs connected to the internal wire one and internal wire two. From there those two are connected to the two inputs of our OR gate and then driving out to our output out two. So that's it for structural modeling. If you have any questions or would like some more information, please email us at csusiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii